guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this look right here. And I'm using my new Holy Grail palette. The Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. And what have I been doing for this palette? I don't, I don't understand. I don't even remember what life is like for this. So for some reason, some of you may not have seen this palette and just brace yourselves. Okay, you ready? You ready? So this is the whole palette and oh, it's huge. I mean, look at it. I think the palette is like $60, but you get 24 eyeshadows, which makes them like $2 a piece, which is, you know, like a drugstore price for eyeshadows and they're so good and I just I just think this is such a great staple to have because you have all the colors of the rainbow and some neutrals right here in the middle to pair them with I feel like the only shade I'm missing is like a mid-tone neutral brown instead of just these pale browns and these dark ones but still but yeah I'm just blown away by this palette I hate to call this a fall inspired look because it's not, this is my year round colors and I think it's stupid to wait for a certain season of the year to wear a certain color of lipstick, it's just, what are you waiting for? Like I get not wearing your summer foundation in the winter because it's too dark, that makes sense, but not wearing a brown lipstick because it's April, what? Just, just put it on, just own it, just seize the day. Okay, enough rambling and let's just get into the tutorial. So of course, first I'm gonna prime all of the lid up to the brow. So now the first shadow I'm gonna go in with is Noble and this is gonna be a transition shade. And I'm picking this one because it's a bit warmer than Strutter. So it's gonna look great with this orange that I'm gonna go in with next. And now I'm taking analog on the same brush and I'm gonna buff it in. I'm not gonna take it up quite as high but still pretty high. I'm also gonna take a little bit of noble right down here. So I'm going to be taking some of that orange shade later and this is gonna help with blend into my skin tone. So yeah, now I'm taking analog again on this Morphe M433 brush. And I'm taking this really far down. Now I'm gonna take a destroyer on the Morphe brush and just put it in my crease. Now, since this is a halo eye, I want the inner and outer corner to be dark and the center to be bright. So to darken up the inner and outer corner, I'm gonna use the Vox. And I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush to apply it. Um, the name is kind of rubbed off, but I think it's the Eye Definer brush. Yeah. I like it because it's fluffy, but it applies color well and blends it out at the same time. I'm just gonna pack that on and then start blending it a little bit. It doesn't have to be too neat because I'm gonna be packing on another shadow on top. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the inner third. And I'm just gonna leave the middle open because that's where I'm gonna apply my highlight shade later. I'm gonna Take it over, creating that kind of halo. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom lash line with the e.l.f. smudge brush. And again, just leaving the center open.
Now I'm going to take Rewind and just pack it on top of all that dark brown. Now I'm just taking some analog on the fluffy brush to blend it out. And now for that pop in the center, I'm gonna take Lev. I'm just gonna apply it in a padding motion. I'm going to pack on some more later, but this is just to make that smooth transition. And then I'm just doing the same thing on the bottom. And I'm taking this down really low. Now I'm going to apply some more of the same shadow, but with some Fix Plus on my brush. And this is going to make it even more intense and dramatic. And just for a little bit more shine, I'm going to do the same thing with the skulls. Now I'm gonna add love and skulls to the inner corner. And I'm trying to keep my runny eye under control, but it's not working out too well, so just ignore that. Now I'm gonna take ColourPop's lippy pencil in a pitch on my waterline. And to finish off, just some mascara and lashes. I'm using the Benefit The Real Mascara. And the Ardell Wispies. Alrighty. So I've already done most of my face makeup since I pretty much do the same thing every time. So all I got left is blush, highlighter, and lipstick, and the blush I'm gonna use is Milani's Luminoso, which is a cult favorite, and yeah, it's beautiful. And I thought that the orange peachy tone would look great with this eye makeup, so yeah, let's go for it. And for highlight, I'm actually going to use an eyeshadow from the Mavina Loca palette. And I'm going to use Skulls because I just love an intense highlight. And if you don't want it to be as intense, you can use Lyric. And if you're deep, you might be able to use Legend, but it might be a bit too yellow. So yeah. Or you can just use your regular highlighter like a normal person. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Okay, so moving on to lips. I'm gonna line them with Bound by ColourPop. And now I'm gonna fill them in with Wet n Wild's Mega Last Lipstick Mocha Licious. And if you watched my favorites video, you know I love this one. Okay, so that is the whole look. I hope you learned something. And keep in mind that this palette is limited edition, so if you want it, there's no real reason to wait because it's amazing, you won't be disappointed. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.